All right, so now we're going to go over the game loop. And we're going to have to understand how to use this properly since we will be using the job system. And we want to avoid anything running before a certain process is complete. So it's necessary to have a game loop here. So first, we of course initialize the variables. This will be done in the start function. And after that, we will run the loop coroutine. And everything under this uh, red arrow line thing is basically what's going to happen in the coroutine. So the first thing we'll do is check if the loop should end. If it should end, then we're simply going to end the loop. And if it shouldn't end, then we're going to go through this whole process over here. So uh, we're first going to spawn the enemies, and then we're going to spawn in any towers. So basically spawn in any entities that are put inside some sort of queue system. After that, we're going to then move the enemies, and then um, tick the towers. And when I say tick towers, I basically... Um, basically our own way of creating a update method in our game loop so in our coroutine after these processes are completed we'll then take the towers which is basically like once again our own update method so uh, yeah we're going to move the enemies take the towers basically have the game move forward um, within our game loop and after we spawn the enemies and towers and uh, basically tick them basically uh, run their own internal update method then we're going to apply any effects to them. So we can stun our towers, we can apply poison or burn or uh, slowness to enemies, etc. And after that, we're going to damage enemies and then remove enemies based off of their health or whether or not they reach the end of the path. So we're putting this at the end because we want to avoid any sort of conflict, like any sort of errors that can occur when an enemy dies and uh, the move enemy loop is still trying to access that enemy that just died and this is a good way to mitigate it and after that we um, basically remove the towers and then we restart the loop and that is basically how the game loop will work uh, we want to keep uh, the damaging and removing at the end of the loop to prevent any errors uh, when we are ticking or moving enemies spawning them and applying any effects so now that we kind of understand uh, how this loop was going to work uh, we can get coding so let's go into unity and let's start coding Okay, so back in the Unity scene, uh, to keep things organized outside of our map uh, game object, we're going to create a new empty game object and call this the Game Master. And now, in our assets, go underneath our classes, we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this folder Game. So basically, any general game things. And now, inside of here, we're going to create a new C-sharp script and call this our Game Loop Manager. And now on our game master game object, we're going to put our game loop manager on top of it so we can apply it, reset the position, and we can get coding. So when it comes to all the variables and stuff, that will come on later in the series. We're going to uh, make it as we go. So right now, we're just going to focus on creating the loop itself. So underneath our start method, we don't really need the update method, that's why I removed it. We're going to create a new I enumerator, and we're going to call this game loop. And inside of this, we're going to put a while, and we're going to put a boolean in here, which will uh, check uh, if the loop should continue or not. So outside of our I enumerator, we're going to create a public bool variable and call this end loop or loop should end. And while loop should end is equal to false, then we will continue running uh, whatever is in the while loop. Now let's follow the structure of our flowchart that we created. So first, of course, we're going to spawn in enemies. So to, we're going to lay it out with uh, comments for now. So spawn enemies. And to get rid of this error, we could just do yield return at null at the end of our loop. So we do spawn enemies, and then spawn towers, and then move enemies, and then tick towers, and then apply effects, and then damage enemies, remove enemies, and remove towers. And there you go, this is our game loop for now. So that is all for this video. I do know it, this is really, really short, but I like to keep things as separate as possible so I can go as in-depth as possible on a certain aspect. 
and I believe uh, that's what I did for this game loop. So in the next video, we're going to go over enemies and then towers after that, and yeah, I'll see you then. Goodbye.